Welcome to this very special vlog. We see Pragna Nanda sitting there on the sofa and answering some questions. Where exactly are we? And what's going on? Well, you will know all about it in this video. And here we are being served a special welcome drink by a very special person. Who is that person? Well, you'll get to know very soon. Yes, we are at the residence of the super power couple of Indian chess, Vishy Anand and Aruna Anand. And in the living room, we see there is interviews happening for news channels. Also in the living room, you will notice that there are beautiful paintings that are done by Akhil Anand, the son of Vishy and Aruna, who is well known for his artistic talent. In the adjoining room, we see Vishy showing his trophy collections here it's maybe one of the most amazing rooms in the chess world and i hope that someday i'll be able to go into the details of each and every trophy these are some old newspaper cuttings that vishy's mother had preserved finally vishy comes outside and here he's going to give the award of cnn news 18 to Pragnananda. It's such a beautiful event happening. So you can see that Vishy is going to give the award to Prag and there are many chess players who are sitting around this and watching it as it happens live. And while all of these is being is happening and being recorded, we see guests coming in casually, grandmasters and top players entering in. There you see Grandmaster Magesh Chandran and Anuprita. Uh, Patil coming in and they are invited by Aruna because there's also breakfast that is planned for everyone here and uh, there you see Vishy going to give award to Prag and he was asked to say a few words about Pragnananda and Vishy says you know the trophy that I received from CNN lies there and now I'm going to give it to Prag so let's hear what Vishy has to say. Yes, it's, it's very nice. You really feel that the tradition is being carried on and uh, that uh, Prag is doing it. Uh, really feels like a baton being passed. So yes, I'm very happy about that. Of course, he's following uh, many of my footsteps. Mm -hmm. Candidates is a big thing as well, which uh, is connected. So hopefully uh, the, kind of the tradition could like continue. How do you see his journey, particularly the year that has been 2023 for which he's won this award? It's been a pretty massive year for him. Definitely. Uh, it, it was a slow start mm -hmm. and then after May, it's galloping. It's just galloping. I mean, he's performed at such a high level uh, and the whole year, which shows that it's not uh, just a, a blip. It's, it's a very consistent, great performance, qualified for the candidates. Best result in Hungary, best result in Dusseldorf. That's at so many levels he's played well. And, uh, I think everyone is very excited to see what he'll do this year. Okay. Prag, how does it feel as Vishy said, you're following in his footsteps, you're also now winning the award that he won 10 years ago. As he said, he's passing the baton. Yeah, it feels uh, great to hear such words, but yeah, I think I have a lot to improve and um, yeah, a lot to work on and do my best in future tournaments. And, yeah, I uh, received such an award from Anand sir, uh, who I've uh, been looking ever since I started playing chess. It's a special moment. Can I ask Vishy, uh, what is that one thing that you think makes Prague different or the one thing that you really appreciate about his game? Or um, On the chessboard, I think uh, he's very broad. He's not uh, focusing only on one or two strengths, he, he works very hard. But it comes back to the uh, other quality, which is uh, dedication. He, he puts in very, very long hours. I mean, it, it's nice to say the second year was great, but it's based on a lot of you know, midnight oil and all that. Uh, he's a very, very sincere hard worker. He respects the game of chess, which means that he's in his traditions, he understands that knowledge has to come in a certain way, you study it, you learn. Uh, the respect for the art is and, uh, what else? Very strong family bond. Yes. Uh, it's not, you don't have to have a grandmaster sister, but you know, it's a bonus. But you know, his uh, family and uh, 
like they go with them and everywhere his mother is always uh, traveling so the family supports his family really just uh, so many building blocks that they make it like that she may have request you to hand over the CNN News 18 he did a beer rising sports star to Pratna That was such a wonderful function, wasn't it? And then I loved this picture of Vishy, Vaishali, Prag and Naga Lakshmi there. There you see Akhil uh, meeting all the guests who have come home. And I am admire actually Prag, Vaishali and Naga Lakshmi's stamina to do interviews. You know, it's uh, amazing. And there we see Satya Prabhakar. the man behind group e4 which is supporting chess players there and this is a very nice scene where vishi the proud father uh, is showing the paintings of akhil to prag and his mother and tells them about it there are also tiger and stripes spiral circles very modern math patterns in the Here you can see again try and use as you like. Traditional South Indian breakfast was prepared for all the guests. As you can see Pranav V and his parents there, we have WIM Raghvi who's also a doctor and I always tease her that she eats a lot. Uh but of course it's all in good fun. Shrikanth is here. We have Ilam Parthi uh Grandmaster Shyam Sundar, Deepan Chakravarti Deepan's better half, Nandan, Sarvanan, son, Akhil, Kusum, Aditya, Kartikeyan, and his better half. And there we see the coach of Prague and Vaishali, Ramesh, who has recently received the Dronacharya Award, being interviewed. Sethu over there with Sarvanan talking to Vishy, and there we have Bharat Subramanyam. who played an amazing world rapid and blitz talking with prag and it's always a nice feeling to see the entire community come together it's also a nice picture of prag where i think one of the first pictures of him in his adani uh, outfit and then from one star we have another gukesh entered and he was interviewed by the documentary makers here of course having gukesh is amazing there and one day you should all hear aruna's stories about vishy they are just hilarious they are amazing she narrates them so well and everyone was all glued to their seats listening to it kidambi that on give a subject to you and you can make a poem out of it yeah i can write a poem but uh, i'm too shy to <laughs> no but shy is okay <laughs> today everyone is fine so no, we'll can, give you i can I can write it to you, and you can post it on Just Biz. Don't worry. Uh, but no, I can give you a topic right now. Yeah, I can. So you can write on. Uh, <laughs> how much? Time? That is not a problem. How much time will it take? You do in five minutes. Three, three seconds. Okay, so Anand and Aruna, can you write a poem on that? Yeah. Okay. I mean, about this. Uh, no, no, just the the, <laughs> the topic is that you write whatever. नॉर्मल <laughs> 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 Kidambi actually started writing the poem and within 5 minutes he had things all written down which is simply amazing what a talented guy and there we saw Anand now talking about Gukesh here which is always very interesting to hear what he feels about these youngsters there we see Adiban in the background Gukesh's father there and the beast doing an interview for the social media channels of vishy anand which now has a team and this is a small shot of vishy's most amazing medals there these are some of the world championship medals and there are these amazing amazing achievements here i hope some day to 
bring you all the exact details of each and every medal that adorns this wall in it lies the history of indian chess so we have uh, history <laughs> 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 Dambi had finished with his poem and now Vishy and Aruna had gotten a shawl in order to felicitate him but of course first his poem had to be heard only if it was good would he get this honor this is a poem on Anand and Aruna i have written it in tamil okay ananda vaalvil arunodayamana maaninda maan endru vandanan understand Little, 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 little,
but she was she was like the sunrise and made him very happy okay this is the first part of the poem next one is this is describing i am generally describing qualities i have not told who is telling this so that is coming with the next part of the poem there's one thing hidden in this man what is yeah man also relates to ramayan ramayan oh where sita goes in pursuit of a deer uh, ஒரு <laughs> <laughs> i was trying to bring akil into this uh, poem oh, wow. his name so he is the world champion i mean he is the world champion neel pugal petru on the means throughout the world his, his fame is everywhere oh. pervading all pervading fame vendra meliroli vend so he has done this he has achieved everything he wants this person is telling you are my sunrise in my life that connects the poem oh. and who is this person it's anand without mentioning him his name அமேசிங் <laughs> <laughs> with that ended what was i believe one of the most special mornings in indian chess look at the strength of this picture you have so many amazing players and their family members who have helped them to pursue their chess career it was just amazing to be in their company a few minutes later vishy anand left his home to be at the group e4 meeting at the madras club This is a special group that Anand and Aruna along with Aarti and Ramesh have created in order to support the budding talents of Indian chess and here you can see at the Madras club the families have all come together in order to felicitate these young talents I'll be talking about it in a separate video but for now let me leave you with an interview with the one and only Aruna Anand Aruna today we had a very nice meet up of uh, the entire chess community at your home in Chennai how did this idea come about I mean many uh, people were saying they wanted to come and visit Anand and uh, since Prabhu was going to get in the CNN award and Gukesh had to do an interview and Anand was needed for both so we said why not just make it a meet up because every time these Anand meets most of them they meet over lunch or dinner but invariably the spouses never come so we thought why don't we make it a breakfast where the wives are also invited and we I mean, just keep it casual and keep it open house and that's how it came about and hopefully this becomes a tradition that the first weekend of every year i mean all chess players are invited and, and how did you feel uh, you know when it was such a fun like uh, <laughs> such a fun event how did you no, feel we really enjoyed i mean it was nice to see because when we invited everybody said you know we can stay till 9:30 we need to leave by 10 and at 12 still nobody was leaving i think that yes. was really nice i mean and the stories and also quite honestly this is the world that we all most naturally associate ourselves with so i think that was what was very beautiful and and then uh, later on you we are here at group e4 uh, this 
this is a beautiful initiative with so many families coming sure, together sure. Uh, and the vibe inside the room was so positive what do you personally feel about this entire initiative i think when it started we didn't really realize that it could scale up so much it started as a very uh, uh, humble initiative we thought if we help a few and it seems to have garnered momentum and i think the credit duly goes to satya prabhakar i think it is his enthusiasm and his energy that has driven this whole initiative forward i mean to be in year 3 i think is very important because i think year 1 is very easy to do but then to build on it year on year i think that's excellent i mean the credit fully goes to him here and uh, aruna for all these years vishy was playing chess he was at the top of the world now when he is now slowly playing lesser there are so many initiatives that uh, you both are getting involved in one is waka now this how do you choose them i think wherever that we are able to work with without you know any kind of underlying forces i think then it becomes very easy as long as you keep the work very organic i mean there is no underlying layers there's no hidden agenda then it becomes very easy because i mean anand as a person is that so you know, what he chooses to do are initiatives of causes where i mean the cause is direct your involvement is direct there are no other layers of filters to it i mean that's the only yes thank you aruna for your time and also for doing so much for the for the chess world thank you so much